Let's, uh... Oh, I'm just gonna kick back for ten minutes, talk some shit, before I have to go to another meeting. I, uh, just got out of an interesting talk given by a PhD student here at the university, and, uh, it was about aerosol injections into the atmosphere as a potential cure for climate change. It was interesting. Um, one thing that I was thinking about is uh, chemtrail people who, you know, people have long been saying that uh, they think the government and, uh, you know, George Soros and any number of dubious actors have been uh, injecting chemicals into the sky for all kinds of ulterior purposes. And of course that's crazy and it's not true. Uh, but it, I was thinking about how it's interesting how it's weirdly uh, predictive of like the kinds of geoengineering that they're actually talking about. So like, you know, 20 years ago, if I said, I think soon we might uh, be really thinking about uh, blasting chemicals into the atmosphere to solve climate change, uh, you'd be like, okay, you're crazy. But the chemtrail, the chemtrail people who were kind of saying that in, a, in an obviously twisted form, uh, actually, interestingly, in their own way, were kind of more tuned to to what's going on, although with an obvious kind of uh, Looney Tune bias. But you know, another thing that's interesting is like one of the things he, this guy was saying in the talk. His name's Paul. He's one of our PhD students. Is that uh, aerosol injections as a solution to global warming is actually pretty cheap. Uh, he was saying like, you could have a pretty appreciable effect for like one and a half billion dollars or something like that. Um, and what, one of the things he was saying was that, you know, that's something like Bill Gates could feasibly like put together with like the change in his uh, couch cushions. So, and it's so completely unregulated. There's no kind of international governance for this sort of thing. So, um, it wouldn't even necessarily be against international law, or even if it were in some arguable sense, it would be completely unenforceable uh, to punish someone for, for, for doing the following, like spending their own money uh, and filling the atmosphere with aerosol injections because they think it's important to solve global warming that way as soon as possible. So like fucking Elon Musk could just uh, load up some planes and shoot the sky up with sulfur or whatever, and uh, no one would really be able to stop him. And then that got me thinking, you know, like the chemtrail people and conspiracy, kind of like anti-globalist uh, types of people, you know, they're always talking about how people like George Soros are kind of like trying to foment a kind of, uh, you know, world government, this type of imaginary. And uh, again, it's like, it's obviously off and Looney Tune in certain ways, but it's strangely uh, empirically um, apt precisely because these types of scenarios are in fact increasingly uh, imaginable at least. And so there's a weird way in which rational, educated, respectable, normal people are, can, that can be kind of poorly attuned empirically. Uh, and Looney Tune conspiracy theorists, although wrong in key ways, can have uh, a strange kind of uh, empirical prescience, uh, although it's, it's wrong in a certain way. So uh, that's my thought for the moment. I have to go uh, to another meeting. See you later.